Otati Sangi Chetoma Dembris, Sangi Chetatu Chonum Lassi, Jam Duce. Jam Duce Sangi City, Sangi Kunjo Che, Chetan City Chukunjo Che. Any can do sit it a Sanji Chuta, so I sit it a can do it. Chitan Chobal and Mambu in Gruba, so bad in the Mambu Yarit, so good short did it, can do the so we just uh, recite uh, a verse from this uh, handout, this uh, text. Uh, <clears throat> this prayer is called Refuge and Bodhicitta. So the, uh, the first two lines are uh, refuge practice. Here it says, I go for refuge until I, I am enlightened. And to, to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. So, uh, so we are taking refuge under Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assemblies. Supreme Assembly refers to uh, Sangha member, and uh, assembly means a group of people. So, the group of people, uh, we uh, group of people, they, they can we can have many different types of group of people. The best group of people we can consider as uh, the uh, Sangha. Sangha members are the we can consider Sangha member as the best. So uh, the assembly or the group of people. Oh, then it. Ah, Changju Padu, Tani Jeps Chesi Tu, Ani Changju Seati Sanji Jukuba Matop Padu. Sita Changju Tila, Ne Changju Ta Topa Changju Se, Topa Changju Se Ne, Namba Tamje Kimbe Ishi Sanji Tuju Ki, Kimba Tila Siyari. Oh, then Matop Padu. <coughs> so then the, the first line says, I go for refuge until I am enlightened, uh, until I become Buddha, okay? uh, enlightened. So there are two types of enlightened you can uh, refer to. Like first one is if you can refer to a place, and another one is you can refer to uh, the realization. So the realization means uh, omniscient mind. So then you hear, here we are saying, until I achieve that kind of high realization, so then I go refuge to Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Uh, so here also it says I go for refuge specifically it says I so that actually uh, refers to yourself uh, in another word, it, it is actually saying out loud your name, sort of like your name, I as your name. So if you say that, uh, so it uh, that kind of, uh, it, is, it is more powerful and you're, you are tend to make strong uh, commitments. If you say it like I, if you say, specifically say I go for refuge. In better with the carriers and the Kavu Kunjo Sum Ani Jamne and that to kill him, my leg on a ziggy yard, jam to you, Mikugone, Jessa, jam to the chair the carasene, a number sign give a jukuti, jam to the invayasan, any jam to share the tiri. So when we take uh, refuge, uh, that refuge becomes a gateway to uh, Buddhist uh, practice. So then uh, there are many ways to enter into Buddhist practice. Uh, so this is one way to uh, get into the Buddhist practice. So that's why if someone takes refuge under three jewels or three ratnas, 
so then we can uh, call uh, we can call ourselves as a Buddhist practitioner. Ah, then, ah, when the number sign give you any, jam to give you the less kunjo sumiare. Dinane kunjo sumi nane, jam me di chhe di chigiare. Ah, da shenda yene jam me di da jam chile yamari kunjo misu kunjo. ギャミシュケリンギアマラサンジャクンジョミシュケリンギアマレディマネアディカレスネタチレヤマバタキャミエトクンジョイエンシゲレナンバサンケベギムネキャミエティチェディエンシサンジェティジデナチュンジュンバ
So some Dharma practice uh, give us uh, protection from lower realms, and some give us uh, protection from uh, samsara existence, and some uh, the give us protection from uh, the uh, uh, the all the jipa tamje, so all the fe- fearful uh, protection from the all uh, the fearful experiences, completely free from the uh, the fe- um, the fearful experiences. <coughs> So then, uh, so we have talked in this text uh, how we carry out, and, and also these three practices related to the three scope or the three uh, practitioners, three levels of pr- practitioners, uh, small scope and the middle scope and the <coughs> advanced scope uh, practitioner. So we already covered the topic how we practice uh, the lower scope or the uh, lower pra- pra- uh, the practices that are related to lower, common with the lower practitioners. So well, we already covered that <coughs> subject. So in that subject, in that practice, <coughs> primarily uh, talks about uh, how to take refuge and how to respect or how to uh, the uh, gain some knowledge on uh, the uh, causes and effect, karma. In other words, that means karma. So we already talk. Uh, we already <coughs> covered that subject. So if you do these two practices, these two practices, the main causes or or, or main cause, it becomes the self as a main cause uh, to get free from, uh, you know, main cause to get get free free from the lower realm experiences. So that's why. <coughs> so if you do these two practices, it will ensure you will not be fall into uh, lower realm experiences. Oh, that. <coughs> Metaba Gam <coughs> So the uh, part of the uh, lower, uh, the lower capacity or the lower practitioners, uh, <coughs> lower scopes practices, practice. There are uh, different texts that actually uh, describes in a different uh, ways. Different ways they describe in different different ways. Some said they have uh, three types of practices related to or the common with the lower scope. And some say there are four <coughs> practices uh, common with uh, the uh, lower scope. So if someone says the three <coughs> practices that that actually common with common with lower scope, so that refers to uh, the uh, the contemplation on contemplation on impermanence and then the karma and then the refuge. If someone says it's four, there are four so then they add on <coughs> one more that is uh, <coughs> contemplating on leisures and fortunes of the human rebirths, and some said that the, the this meditation, the for, uh, the contemplating on uh, fortune and the leisure of the human rebirth is uh, the preliminary of all the other practices, and some said this is actually part of the lower scope. So there's two ways to describe it. Mm, that <coughs> that Kibuding <coughs> Kwaji Dunge Samba Ani Dunge Ge Samba Dunge Tru Samba Dunge Sum Samba Dindesiare Ani Langjagi Choy 
Jabin, Lava Sums, Lava Chudim Gilava, Lava Sherub, Dingy Gilava, Lava Sherub Gilava, Sum Yadis. Now let's move to the uh, let's move to the next uh, practices uh, practice that common with practices that common with uh, middling scope. So here, <coughs> uh, so um, this uh, practicing uh, the middling scope practice practices that are common with the middling scope they mainly uh, help us to get away from samsara existence. So then, in that practice, uh, in, uh, the includes like uh, uh, contemplating on the the sufferings of the samsara in general, and the contemplating on the samsara uh, sufferings of the samsara in in individually or specifically. And then there, and also there are many practices like it said uh, you can con- uh, contemplating on eight types of sufferings, six types of sufferings, and uh, three types of sufferings. There are different ways to go again. And these are the, all the uh, uh, the part of the path or part of the practice needs to be abandoned. And there's another part of the practice that needs to be adopted. So there are the part of the adoption is uh, it called the three trainings. So three trainings refers to <coughs> training of morality and training of wisdom and training of concentrate or the samadhi. So these are the part of the practice needs to be adopted in that uh, in that. Uh, uh, no, the, uh, the, that practice, practice that common with the milling scope. Uh, that thing is, then, to me, care samba, to me, do samba, to me, sum siati, coil a tantubi, logical, tell it, coil a tantubi, logical, ninjum sibri, coa, coe, nimi tone, any coil a tantubi, logical, cargo resin. Pena Nazarji Nasuna Nazar de Letandu Gulu Kigriva. Ani Metea Amjitea Chigriva. Ani Nati is a to me the she sooner. Ani to me the medieval Lokigriva. To me the medieval Lokian, any to me the Tandugi Tandu Gulu Kigriva. What is a to me? Yes, somebody to me, to somebody to me, some somebody caress some quiet caress in a quality tandu quality tower like quality tandu look you weary quality tandu look you are a quality give me a bridge to make it a shame, but how could we are? They could be your son, any to me, some jutile to me, to somebody to me, yes, some some somebody said, she quiet it is. So in that uh, mm. practice, that part of the practice, practice that common with uh, milling scope, is mainly meditating on the sufferings of the samsara existence. So then the why we need to do this uh, meditation, why we need to think about our sufferings. So this is, uh, all this practice is meant to enhance your uh, renunciation, feeling of renunciation, renouncing from the samsara existence or the difficulties of the samsara existence. <clears throat> this is very similar like that when we get sick, so then when we feel that pain in ourselves, so we we have like like instantly sort of like we have a feeling to get free from that kind of feelings, that kind of sufferings. And we, want, we wanted to uh, not have that kind of uh, feeling, pain or suffering, whatever you're suffering at that moment. That's why we go and see a doctor, <clears throat> similar like that. So when we go through suffering, sometimes we don't realize we are actually suffering. We don't recognize suffering as a suffering. So we tend to confuse with suffering with our happiness and stuff like that. So that's why so we never feel, we never have a ten- tendency or the feeling of getting away from some sort of existence. So that's why in order to develop that kind of mind or renunciation, so getting... <clears throat> Getting yourself free from the samsara existence, you need to know the nature or the the actual nature of the samsara existence. That's why we meditate or contemplate on 
the sufferings of the samsara existence. That's why it actually gives us a feeling to get away from that kind of situation. So that's why we have like a different types of meditation on uh, meditation meditation <coughs> on sufferings. Some you know, we uh, we meditate on the suffering in general and specifically there are types of suffering we meditate on that. And also there are six types of suffering, three types of suffering. So all of these are meant to help you uh, develop a renunciation. Uh <coughs> Sangegi, <coughs> So that's why when Buddha talked first time, so he talked, he said, <coughs> so understand or realize uh, suffering as a suffering. So this is a very main uh, reasons why we are doing all these practices. So if you don't know, if you don't understand or realize uh, suffering as a suffering, so then we tend to do more and more all this. And we kind of to repeat same thing over again and again, uh, over again and again. That's why it causes uh, problems. So then the uh, and also we sometimes we get confused. We think uh, 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 some sort of existence is very pleasure pleasurable kind of uh, experiences, and we tend to uh, chase after you know some sort of pleasure samsaric pleasure and so on so because of not understanding and not realizing these are uh, uh, ultimately our sufferings so that's why we're not un not knowing and not understanding or realizing suffering is a suffering <coughs> so that actually causes uh, <coughs> difficulties in our life <coughs> that's that's why we have all <coughs> series of meditation you know meditation on <coughs> sufferings so that is actually try to understand or real uh, <coughs> help you help us to understand the nature of the sufferings. So otherwise, uh, the Buddha didn't intend to uh, scare uh, sentient beings. Uh, didn't uh, <laughs> he didn't actually <laughs> try to uh, the make more uh, depression uh, to other sentient beings. This is just to give them aware like of what actually we are. <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> this one incident happened in Tibet. Uh, there was a, a lama or guru. Uh, normally he goes to uh, a village and uh, teach uh, uh, villagers uh, the uh, what you call this elderly you know all the elderly in village so then uh, one, uh, the one of his students came and uh, seek uh, audience with him and he met uh, that in uh, the student met his uh, attendant and he asked where's the teacher so then the the attendant reply attendant said that our teacher went to village uh, scare all these old folks, all people. What is it? Tiku sore che. Tunge shayuku giyare. Tunge shayuku giyare. Tunge mashane. Tunge tunge imbaha gugu marwa. Tien 
ルガーギーにちゅうて、そうちゅうばて、みぎわちゅうやれば、ルガーギー、ドゥインやれ、ドゥインティ、ソーティ、ルガーギー、ドゥインティ、ルガーギーにちゅうドゥインやれば、ドゥインティ、ソーティ、ゴヤティ、ツルングラバシニティ、ガギやれ、ツルングラバシアティ、ガランズ、ニャンネティやれ、そうちゅうばパンバ、メタンバチ、マチネパンバ、アネロインパンバ、ツインパンバ、タマパンバ、ツーツーパンバ、アネナイチェルパンバ、セネ、ルナゲテレバ、ティ、ティデパンベ、テレア、チュディムシギアリ、ティギ、アーリュナゲ、ニチュラパティゲ、パンギアリ、ティタティチェル。リュナゲニチュセオラ。And now、uh, we already talked about、uh, the eight types of sufferings. So, first of all, I'm saying, yeah, first of all, we need to、uh, learn or we need to study、uh, the nature of the sufferings and we need to understand what actually sufferings are, how,、uh, how they actually affect to us. That's why we need to study uh, uh, the sufferings or how sufferings. Actually, e f f e c t s to us.、Yeah? This is very important. And then the, we already cover in this section, we already cover eight types of sufferings, six types of suffering, and three types of suffering. I'm said, I'm, I don't remember though. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he already covered all this、uh, uh, uh, subject. Now, <clears throat> so then、uh, there's another aspect of the practices. So that is, that practice is called how we adopt, what kind of practice needs to be adopted. And how we need to eliminate all these、uh, negativities, yeah, all these negativities, right? So then there comes like three different types of practices. It's called three trainings. And the first one is called、um, uh, training of morality, training of wisdom, training of.、Uh, and the first one is morality, second one is wisdom, and the third one is the concentration, right? s t a m a d i The first one, <coughs> the、uh, morality. So, practice of morality is a little bit、uh, grosser or the easier relation with the other two practices.、Uh, so, these practices mainly、uh, try to restrain、uh, your physical actions and verbal actions.、Yeah? So, these kind of practices is,、uh, help you to re-、uh, the, uh, restrain your physical negative actions and verbal negative actions. So, in this pra- practice, i n c l u d e s like、uh, the f- there are three types of negative <coughs> actions, okay? So, then you should、uh, restrain from、uh, the, what's it, the killing and the、uh, stealing and then the uh, 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 sexual uh, misconduct.、Uh, these are the three. And then、uh, you have three、uh, verbal actions, okay, negative actions, as、uh, lying, tama. Uh, Tama is、uh, divisive speech. And then the, what was the other one? Gossiping, harsh. Oh, there are four, right? Are there four? I see. <laughs> Gossiping and, and the harsh words. These are the negative actions. So, in this conduct, in this practice, practice of morality, mainly you're restraining all these negative actions. So, then if you look in、uh, yourselves, normally we don't. Do all these negative actions. Now, naturally, we are not t e n d to do all these negative actions. So, we don't kill, we don't you know, steal, we don't need to steal and stuff like that, right? But the, so that's a, in order to make it a practice, so you need to take、uh, a vow s to do that. So, that when you take a vow, s so then that becomes a practice of morality, okay? Uh, <coughs> that day. Laba Chutum Gilaba Sinati, Chutum Sati, Chirubale Yari, Nambali members, any Nambale Shembe, Chu, Chu Yarba, Chirube Chu, Nambali Shembe Chu Yarba, Tusule, any Migitubu Sati, Karasure, Sojuponga Sierbata, Tusu Yuveri, Tusu Yari de Shibta Chenichevi Neta, Mille so ju po yar ba ten de ta ji le ti ta kangalo lo yu ba sur ji je ya ga she ge ji na ni ji ju sung pe na <hesitation> nyala so ba tu su ti ji <hesitation> sang je gi ngun zul 
Longjuya Jelly Nabari Sergsuri Jenny Tilly Pondulum Mijin Tinde Yubari, Yimbari. Number Sanji Bagdi Semje Yoto Chola Ni Ti Lungagi Niju Pungyati Ani Kangalo Yubari. Odi is a Habi Shirib Jelab, Habi Labas, Habi. Chudum Gilaba Sina Chirubele Hape Chudum Gilaba Hape Laba Sia Jerry Chida Chudum Gilaba Sinati Chida Yuber of Jay Hape Chudum Gilaba Sia Jerry Or the number mission memory. Then, if you look at the nature of the practice, uh, the practice of morality, uh, that practice is not unique to Buddhists. So all the other major traditions, all the other religions, they do have these practices. They do uh, restrain from uh, negative actions like killing and so on and stuff like that. That's why, in general, this practice is not unique to Buddhists. But if you look at the nature of the practice, in uh, like uh, the uh, the what you call it, uh, the in in depth, sort of like that. So then you will see the differences. So for instance, in other tradition, it may say like they will, no, they may actually restrain him from killings, but they only do it with the human beings. They may not do it with the other animals and stuff like that. And also, they may think that animal is uh, actually uh, created for the consumption for the human beings, stuff like that. So that's what they tend to kill animals. <clears throat> if they do, if they kill the animals. That is not a, that killing act of that killing is not against in their uh, morality practice of morality. Okay, but in the Buddhist Buddhist tradition, we said like we should not harm, we should not killing in in terms of like killing, it said that you should not kill any sentient beings. That includes everything. So then, <clears throat> if you look at from the that pros- perspective and from that angle, then you will see the differences between uh, Buddhism and the other tradition. Otherwise, in general. All the other traditions they have uh, practice of morality. <clears throat> if you look in depth, in deep, you know, what's the very like uh, specifically, so they may have like. Uh, anyway, so there are some differences in in depth of these practices, but in general, all the other they do carry practice like you know, morality and so on. Oh, then laba tingi zig laba se ajer ba tiki ani soju soju. Pelungagi, Kunel Longi, Nyomo Yarba, Nyomo Mungua said this. Aranju Pene Deja Kondu Anne Deja Kunelane, Simje so Jebayari, Kondu Kune so Jebayarba, Tanda Chudim Kikasu Nyala so Jebatipa Gabari. So, you saw the so junior Kunu Yarva, Nyomo, Deja, the Shedan, the Timu, the Suba Yarva, to so dead Pa Munju Kaya, the Kaga Yuri, did Labating the Labagi, a digger Nyomoba, the so juva deeds in a Lungagi, so juva deeds in a deep Kunu. Ani nyomo ba ngunju wa tige ti laba tingi tige laba ki ngunju wa tige epangi yare. So then the next uh, the higher training or, or the the practices is called samadhi. Okay, samadhi. I said uh, wisdom. Second looks like samadhi. Samadhi or the concentration. You call concentration. Samadhi concentration. Yeah. So that nature of that practice is more subtle, subtle than the prior one, and also a little bit difficult, or more difficult than the, the prior one, the practice of morality. In this practice, uh, we are not just looking at in the, the prior practice, practice of morality, so we just try to restrain your actions from doing wrong things, right, wrong things. And when you reach to the that level of practices, it's not only restrain, restraining your actions from doing wrong thing, but the we are also dealing with the uh, a mind that actually force 
you to do all these actions. Yeah. For instance, when you kill, so you're killing or you're killing other beings, other sentient beings, due to your, it could be due to your ignorance, it, it could be due to your uh, the attachment and aversions, aversion, hatred. Right? So <clears throat> in the concentration practice, we are dealing with all this emotion. We try to deal with those emotion, overcome this emotion. That gets, in this practice, gets more harder than the prior one and more subtle or the more diff difficult. あ、だって。だってね、ngu so then the next practice is called wisdom. Okay, wisdom again uh the the the, the most uh, hard hard uh, the difficult one. And also, uh, at this point, when we do uh, wisdom, the training in wisdom, so we are not trying to deal with, uh, or we are not only trying to deal with evident or the more obvious uh, kind of problems. Um, so when you look at the other two nature of the practices, it's like an uh, act of killing is, is <coughs> very obvious. And, and then the, the, the emotion behind that is also very obvious. When it comes evidence, we can deal with that, right? But the where all this actually came from, there is deep down in our mind, there is a potential, there is a, some kind of energy, and when it is triggers, so all this happens. We develop mind, uh, wrong thoughts or wrong mind, and that wrong mind actually forces you to do the wrong actions, right? So when we do this wisdom practice on wisdom, try to develop some kind of wisdom. This is actually dealing with the root of the causes. We try to uproot what are the or, or normally we consider normally we believe is uh, the wrongdoing. So that's why this is mean dealing with the potential of our uh, wrongdoings. Oh, Migua Labashere Quality Ah, that's 
So that's why uh, if you look at the nature of the practices, then you can see how these practices can uh, help us uh, get rid of samsara existence and uh, get away, escape from samsara existence. Uh, the first uh, practice, uh, the practice of morality, so mainly dealing with all uh, all these uh, actions, uh, the verbal and the physical actions. And then the, this practice is a little bit lighter in relation to these two other practices because we, it is easier that we can convince ourselves uh, killing act of killing is something inappropriate and a lying and so on. Uh, all these, uh, the, the first six uh, non-virtuous actions, and the, first, sorry, the first three physical non-virtuous actions are <coughs> very <coughs> something that we can understand. And then uh, we can convince ourselves not to do all these uh, negative actions. Right? And then the and also uh, the second type of practices is the concentrations. Concentration mainly trying to eliminate our mindset or the negative thoughts. So try to keep our mind in the man, um, our mental state in a positive or uh, in a positive mood. So then the, this is also uh, something we can convince ourselves. So the uh, developing hatred and attachment and aversion, all these are mental afflictions that can cause us uh, and the problems. Stuff like that. So we can also understand that we can realize that as well. Then the, the last one is the most hardest one, the, uh, the, the wisdom. Wisdom is trying to eliminate the main seat or the main causes or the potential, so there are different ways to do you know, go with that you know translation I think, and so anyway, so there's a imprint sometimes called imprint you know seeds that actually remain with us forever. So then, that wisdom practice is trying to eliminate that kind of energy, so then we can get free from uh, permanently get free from that kind of uh, negative effect. Right? These are the three practices. <clears throat> so practices. If you do look at the nature of the practice, you can see how these practices can actually help us to escape from samsara existence. Yeah. So then the, now the next practice is uh, related to the most advanced uh, practitioner. So the most advanced, advanced practitioner, or sometimes they call Mahayana practitioner, Mahayana practices. So this uh, practice is mainly focusing, focusing on how to develop love, compassion, bodhicitta, and so on. All of these are again meant to deal with all of our negative emotion, negative uh, thoughts, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so then, the all these are the three practices. You can divide it all the dharma practices into these three sections, sort of like uh, section that relate uh, to co- practice that common with the small and the medium, and then the most advanced practice. You can <clears throat> divide them into these three sections, sort of like that. So again, uh, so the, the uh, it is uh, very important that uh, we should feel that the actual protector is uh, dharma practice. If you don't do all these dharma practices, you will not get uh, a result. You will not be sort of like you know, free from uh, sufferings. Otherwise, Buddha has a strong compassion. His compassion is uh, uh, <clears throat> impartial, right? Impartial. So that's why uh, if you're relying on him, uh, just, you know, if you believe that he's, he can actually protect us from that, that is not going to be work because you need to practice, you need to deal with your emotion, and you need to eliminate all these causes and conditions for your uh, difficulties. So that's why we said uh, the, uh, the Dharma practice becomes the actual uh, protector. Oh, that is it. the Chow 
쉬기 타르투부디 장주구 쌤세들이 어디 장주구 쌤세 아니 아 되게 이제 가르수 그래 문도 시신지부 강글을 격리해 장주구 쌤다 동반이기 따와서야 돼 동이 또배 따와서야 돼 장주구 쌤기 쌤배 동반이기 따와 되게 격투기야래 아 지다 동반이기 따와래 Nyerangi jule yare. O yinsane mundu tapshi ni. Ta chung nane tarto pati chanju gusem gumya tiri. O di yinsane. So there are many types of practices you see. Some practices relationship relation with relationship with, I mean like uh, the common with the small milling and uh, you know advanced practice practices. You will see different all the the variety you know of all these uh, practices. So that you may wonder like which one is uh, more efficient, uh, which one is more uh, uh, the the. What you call reliable and stuff like that. So then you can say like uh, the practice of uh, the bodhicitta and the emptiness will be these two practices is the most reliable, and then the uh, the highest form of practices. You can consider them as the highest form of practice practice among all the other practices. So if you do these two practices, this uh, these two practices itself actually deals with all the other. Uh, difficulties, all the other you know, emotions, stuff, and also these two practices includes all the other uh, practices. So then, and not only these two practices, you need to unite these two practices, or you need to integrate these two practices together. You need to do it together, sort of like. So sometimes you may have like a one or the other, so it will not actually uh, affect affect it. So some, for instance, uh, the uh, what you call this, the lower vehicles. Practitioner, they have a realization of emptiness, but lack, because of lack of uh, the uh, compassion, so then they won't succeed in their uh, practices. That's why you need to integrate these two practices and you, uh, combine these two practices. Then that this practice becomes the more uh, the highest uh, practices among all the other practices, mm-hmm. most profound <coughs> practices. Oh, that is that is that is that is. 장주구 쌤 꿈이야 돼. 아 수수 시주라 지태순에 다 시주 아 처음에 쇼지게 강기야 펜버 매버 매버와 쌈인데 좀봐. 다 처음 난에 처음 처디 겨버티니 장주구 쌤을 시아스 전에 다니 장주구 쌤꿈 꿈꾸기야래. 그냥 처음에 다 버렸지 쌈. 아니 처음에 다 버렸으면 인데 좀봐. 남질에 치매 쓰다지. 야르바다 곤도 셰르바 아 처음에 대바리 쌈님들 탈레다 안타 아 시도 잠바 페야티 처음에 쇼민도스 추나네 아니 초도 겨버티다 전주구 쌤들에 샤스전에 전주구 쌤 꿈이야지 꿈꾸기야 야 땡조 땡진이가 세도 땡조 미류 토비샤 땡치 무시비지레 샤스 다 땡지 땡지 두구구도 쌈바 처음에 다 땡구나네 아또두비아그나네초도기부디장주구샘레샤트네데장주구샘구구도스 <웃음> Simja to Nijing, Simja Jerry Tonson, did to another Tennessee Maru Savage Sunday. And he to me the Terrace to me. Chiag Tapshi Garage would have sent a Janjugu Semcom. Janjugu Semcom, any to me diggy, you didn't boom Matova to me dig, never swear with you. And he Janjugu Semcom, that kind of Nandu. Kadu 
어디래 당군주 음 최세야 당군주 겹은 세야티 최인바 최근에 잠바등이지 전주고 세무스 티 초두 겹은바래 당연히 당군주 원주 겹은이 겹은이 티 랑기 전주고 세무스야 잠바꿈이야 니지꿈이야 티인바래 대체나 아니 라둥엘에 겹두고야래 Di macam ni, kunci lo semua kerja tu ni, pernah mebel macam ni. Oh, di ini sahaja, di ini nak, hmm, tak tiri. Oh, di ini sahaja, tak jamju kedu lile sunga, tak jamju kedu je. So then, when we do practice, so you you should uh, decide it. You should, you should make a decision that you are going to do a practice. You are going to do the practice of uh, the bodhicitta. Okay? You need to convince yourself that this is the uh, most profound practice. Uh, this is the only gateway to uh, help yourself and others. So you need to uh, feel that. You need to understand that. So then if you understand that, so then all the other practices becomes uh, bodhicitta practice. So let's say, <clears throat> so if you pick a practice from uh, a practice that is uh, common with the lower scope, like saying, you know, thinking about you now the uh, the impermanence and so on, right? And also you are uh, picking a practice from a uh, practice that is uh, common with uh, the middling scope. Let's say um, contemplating on samsara, on the nature of the samsara, and you know, eight types of samsara, and so on. So when you do that, so that all of this practice becomes <coughs> uh, uh, the what you call the uh, all of this practice actually enhances your practice of uh, the what's it the compact um, the sorry, sorry the bodhicitta. Yeah. Again, so the bodhicitta means uh, wishing to achieve uh, enlightened state. In order, you know, for help sentient beings, just to wish to help sentient beings, uh, in order to help sentient beings. Okay, this this kind of mental state is called bodhicitta, right? So you decide to become Buddha, so then you can help other sentient beings. That kind of mental attitude is called a bodhicitta. So then, the, if you look at the nature of the samsara existence, I'm mean, sorry, the sufferings of the samsara. So then you can feel that how sentient beings going through sufferings, and then then they going when they go through sufferings and they're you know having lots of lots of difficulties and stuff like that. And you can look at the other nature of the suffering stuff like that. All of this becomes uh, fuel, sort of like you know, uh, or the enhances uh, your practice of compassion, this bodhicitta, okay, bodhicitta. So that's why. So then you need to begin your practice from here and integrate or take all the other uh, practices and make uh, uh, and all the other practices uh, serve as a facility uh, to enhance your uh, bodhicitta bodhicitta practice. Okay. So that's so then, then then if you do that, then the all you you are actually integrating entire practices in a single practice, sort of like that. So again, so then the, we are in the section of how you, we do, uh, how we take a uh, refuge. Uh, uh, so, so again, uh, so the just making a prayer to Buddha and wishing them to uh, extend their help to us is not enough. So that's why so we need to do something from our side. So you need to put fo- forward or effort to do your uh, Dharma practices from the your, from your side. So then, then, then it actually you're creating sort of like a, uh, a causes condition or something like that, creating a access, uh, so uh, a path, sort of like a path, something they can actually extend, uh, Buddhas, they can extend their blessing to towards us. Oh, <laughs> Chumashagunda 
Daringe Chuniadi, Royal Pimbech, Sanji, you could want to be shoes, teach it to Chuningi in Sigiari. Chu Shenye Gine, Ne, Darigine, Su, Ruatanjel Pimbech, Sanji, you could want to be chitto, Ne, Chu Shes, Chu Sheva Dilatine, Ne, A Kiratawati, Ne, Simjel Pimbe. Pemba to Nig Sanji to Kuvanu to Tobasho Segere, Chesenegi, Dikunu Jiguere, Kunu Joguere, Chenegi, Kunu Joguere. Can you chain me at the Simjig to the Sanji Kuvan to be to some Guere? Chesenegi, Chesia at the Simjig to the Sanji Kuvan to be to Chesia Guere. So the back to the uh, handout, the uh, the prayer uh, section, the prayer called Refuge and Bodhicitta. Next two lines, by the merits I create through listening to the Dharma, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. These two lines are actually Bodhicitta practice. So Bodhicitta practice, again, when we, uh, uh, actually I'm uh, still I'm talking uh, how to uh, motivate or how to res- uh, reset or set up your motivation or the intent, uh, motivation beginning of the teachings. Yeah. So here, so these are the two uh, very major elements needs to be uh, taking place before we listen to the Dharma teachings. So first we need to take a refuge, take refuge, make sure you're doing uh, this uh, teaching that actually uh, came from Buddha. And the second one is try to develop uh, the uh, bodhicitta, so then uh, this uh, we consider that that is the highest or the most profound practice among all the other practices. So then, uh, so here it says, by the merit I create through listening. As a listener, you you should say uh, by listening, listening to these Dharma teachings, then may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all the sentient beings. As a teacher, so they, they're supposed to say, uh, I, uh, the merit I create through giving a teaching, giving a Dharma. Dharma teaching, so like that. Then I might become a uh, Buddha in order to benefit all the sentient beings. This is uh, we do. This kind of practices is uh, uh, we do uh, beginning of the uh, each uh, Dharma session because we make sure that we have the right motivation and right intention to uh, listening to this Dharma teaching. Oh, Simje Tamjel Pingri Vesena, Simje Tamjel Pimbe Nevayam Mari, Inia Ran of Pento Shibu Yunguiari, Rangi, Sem Sambuchi Giri, Sem Sambuki in Jutamba, and he Karasue, Rangi, Sem Nimbe went to Matsuan, Sem Sambuchi Giriba, Sem Sambuchi in Dutini, Ran Kibem Mambu Yunguiari, Ran Karasure, Sem Sambuchime. Ani Ransem Nembuji Kondu da Chi Chabashu Chimbuta Kondu Chi Chimbles on my Jew Suguga. Ani Janju Sem Rebuji, Sem Sambuti in the Rangi Shiti Tinguiri. Ani Rangi Sem Jay Kachimbulungus, my penny Rangi Kuyugi, Rangi Devachesu to Sulu Pingiri. Miss Ambuching Bud Anni Legacinia Gina, Kundu Kibu Yarba, Kundole Digi Tetuari Nangeta Ding and Bessimjas, the Digi Gunsu Matunia Susu the Digi Tegiari, Susu Namju Kim Zanta Randa Nimbo Donia to Sula Pendite Tuari Sam Nambajuna Ranki be Yamari Randa Koyubi, any joy in Yetu Sule, Sumbu Suburba. So, when we do this prayer, uh, 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 setting up this motivation, beginning of the uh, Dharma, it's a Dharma session. So, then when you, re- especially when you read the next two lines and the last two lines, is by merit I, uh, I create through listening to Dharma, may I become a Sentient, I'm like become Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. Okay, <laughs> in order to benefit sentient beings. 
So then the, you may think, <laughs> so this is a bodhicitta practice. Bodhicitta practice is uh, very beautiful to think about. And then the, but uh, it may not have an effect on other sentient beings, especially when we say like entire sentient beings, yeah, right? All sentient beings, yes, all sentient beings. You may, we may feel that, you know, so this is just a prayer, you know, beautiful way to say and th you know, think about, but it may not actually have effect on other sentient beings. But uh, if you think in that way, uh, if you are sincere about in, in, for in that, you know, the, that kind of feeling, and you're sincere about like giving, have benefiting other sentient beings, so then that will uh, uh, sure that uh, that kind of mental state which, uh, is sure that brings uh, happiness in your life and makes you uh, feel good and feels better for individually. Okay, so this is uh, you can get that kind of immediate effect on upon you. This is sure. Yeah. But if you think in that way, if you try to keep that kind of mental state in that kind of mood, right? So then more likely you will not actually harm your neighbor or your next person, something like that, and some of your family, stuff like that. In that sense, so you can say like you, how you are able, you are succeed to reduce one potential harm for others. You know? So that you will not harm your, uh, your neighbor, your family, and stuff like that, because you have that kind of mindset, mental state, you, intention or like uh, that kind of mindset, right? So you will not harm, it, is it will sure that you will not harm others. If you are sincere, then you will not sure your, it will not harm your neighbor, your family, and stuff like that, right? But this is, if you consider in that, Way so then that is a very good uh, starting. So then the uh, for that reason, so you should be really fond or happy about your uh, these practices. That kind, of, this kind of setting up that kind of mind uh, mental state, because it will bring uh, immediate benefit on you, and also it actually creates a very beautiful environment for your uh, neighborhoods or the person who next to you, like family and stuff like that. <coughs> A Chanju Sam Kitsinet Kungina, Sanjay Tent Weary, Chanju Sam Red Kumiju Sanjay Red Tent Weary, and in Nanget Hadinam the Simjagi Tiji Kange, and in Ji Karasuri, Tiji Jibuch Juna, some sort of Jita, Nikange the Tena, somebody of Jit. Younger watch and you give some singing to come to the same jet time jagged play. Did you know some barbage? A canget mad, a canget tenant, Jimaru number of Jingutuga, or to some sangurva, or to such a rare case on a any round of keeper part to me by impre. Any a simja part to me by her, a simja part to me by. Kange chiti, tiki ki ani chi tewata dena chi maru sambara vachi. Kange te dena chi maru sambara vachi chya sunga tila sem sambu sikhe. Ti chu suna ani rangye sunghtu, rangye sunghtu nge sunghtu gauchi ki, nge sunghtu chima nge sunghtu kechi ki. Lang but the tayag tub. Any Janju sem to come soon and as soon to rang as soon to me to a day. The touch of the chamber is or the sungu to go or the a pigeon mumbunal yerba or the answer. Rang the cave in Chimbu Yunguba. Rang it to that Jagu Jonas Shangi. Shambig is somebody Kikuberi. Shambig is somebody in a rank to that to Guiari. Shambig is somebody maybe in a rangi digi duni and digi yung maybre. Cut a rang digi duku to the carriage of rest and a shambig is somebody judge with some kumkuberi. So again, uh, when you look at this uh, practice of refuge and bodhicitta. So it said that it will actually bring uh, immediate benefit on upon you, and also uh, if you 
look careful sort of like uh, so there are this benefit of doing these two practices is immense sort of like so for instance if you do these practices is so for instance first of all you are thinking about a buddha so buddha is uh, omniscient being has all these uh, the uh, the virtuous qualities. So because of that, so they'll get again help you sort of like uh, you can create like a good karma sort of like that. And then the uh, and also you're uh, considering about uh, other sentient beings, welfare of other sentient beings, and so on. So then that kind of mind, mental state, is called that's the very uh, noble mind sort of sense. I'm going to be noble mind. And then the uh, so this very uh, the positive uh, mind, mental state. You can say that mental state. Right? So if you have these two things, these two practices, so it will it brings a lot of, like there are like immense uh, benefit for you in long run, sort of like long terms, like long run. So if you do this, so it said it will close the lower ramp doors. So that means so uh, we tend to. Uh, constantly sort of like opening uh, the lower end doors you know, by doing all these wrong actions and stuff like that, right? So if you do this your practices, it will actually uh, force you to restrain from any negative deeds. So that means like uh, this is actually one way to close uh, the lower end doors. Okay? So it's not only that. If you are really efficient enough doing this practice or, or, or no, you are like or more efficient in this this term, this terms of practice or more profound so that can actually close door permanently door of the lower ramp sort of like lower ramps permanently yeah so that's why if you look at the, all these benefits from this doing these practices the benefits are immense okay they're like immeasurable sort of like that so then the uh, so that's why i said that the uh, no, so the uh, whatever you do so you should always include your practices you know, practices you should include entire sentient beings in your vision. So when you are yearning or wishing for happiness, so you should think about sentient beings. They have the similar kind of aspiration. So you just constantly think about other sentient beings. If you do that, so of course, so that it will, you know, in the long run, sort of like it really brings like immense benefit to yourself. Ah, oh, that is, that is, that is, that is, Tibala Tubati Sani Tuba Meba Yasani Paja Sani Chugin Yamne Yapu Yatin Yung Madaba. What do you send to that? Munji Tuba Chiquati, Tuba Paja Dish Dash Yung Mambula, Tuba Paja, Tuba Payantula, Juina Suyari. This law. So then, the uh, then uh, if we uh, when we decide to do uh, dharma practices, then how we go about it? So how can we how where we should start uh, the dharma practice? Huh? So the uh, the in the beginning uh, is just very important. You need to acquire all the knowledge about uh, dharma practices. Huh? 
So that actually starts from listening to the Dharma teachings. So that when you listen to the Dharma teachings, you learn new thing about Dharma. So that's how you build uh, knowledge of Dharma teachings. Yeah? So sometimes uh, uh, Dharma teachings are tough and uh, difficult to understand, and some sometimes it may not make. And you know, at the moment, it may not make any sense and stuff like that. So then, the, anyway, so you should not, not so because sometimes it's difficult to understand because it happens because may you may not uh, you may not heard about this teaching before. That's why you know it could be it's difficult because of that reason, right? So there's uh, that's why. So you need to listen to the Dharma teachings, acquire all this knowledge. If you don't do this, if you have, when you have this opportunity. If you lose that opportunity, then if you wait for the future lives and so on, sort of like in the future times or future lives and so on. So since you uh, realize that it's very difficult to understand here at this moment, then more likely it will happen the same thing in the future lives if you don't listen to the Dharma teachings. So what ha- listening to Dharma teachings is what happens is like you are actually uh, the putting all this uh, information on your uh, mental continuum sort of like that actually remains with you as a potential or like you know, we call it like an imprint in your mental state when you hear that teaching again maybe in next life or whatever right so next life or something so then they you will understand better because you you already have heard that teaching before so that's why it makes it easier yeah? so if you think like this is very difficult not worth it to like listen about these dharma teachings and stuff like that if you just abandon listen to dharma teachings more likely you will not understand in the future lives as well so that's why when listening is very important important acquiring all this in order to acquire all the knowledge about the dharma teachings oh. <laughs> Do you remember we were left off last time? The what page? <laughs> <laughs> I have 130. 130? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, 130. Color nectar. Oh, okay, this is uh, this. Uh, 130, contemplating the specific sufferings of the higher realms. Is that it? The Dirisha. Karsa Cheta do only the Karsa di Cheta do the Hada Middle Hamaigi Dunga Gombas like the Susu Dungesambat. Susu Dungesambat. Susu Dungesambat. Chi Dungesambat. Susu Dungesambat. Cheta Dungas. Cheta do any than the Hada Middle Hamaigi to Chio di Karsa di Lena. Oh, Kaganachitunga um Dawakuta so the looks like the first one is the sufferings of the human realm, right? So the human sufferings of the human realms are in general is said uh birth and aging, uh sick sickness and death. These are the four types of sufferings of the human being. 
okay, human specifically, okay, human being, specific sufferings of the human being. Sorry, yeah, we're we're in the sexual section of specific sufferings, right? Okay, and then the uh, human realm. There are different ways to uh, birth and different ways to born or birth and you know, give birth. Okay, one type of that is called zuke. Zuke is what do you call this? Um, spontaneous born, right? Spontaneous born. It won't relying on mother, sort of like mother. It's just born from like a heat and moisture and so on like that, right? So you get to sit so this uh, I think they call it spontaneous birth okay they don't suffer kewa uh, or the birth sufferings of the birth and the sufferings of the birth is mainly uh, saying that you know, when someone is in a mother's womb uh, staying there uh, for nine months and stuff like that, and this process uh, they go through uh, specific type specific types of sufferings. So then, since they are spontaneous born, they just they don't rely on mother. So then they don't need to go through that types of sufferings. Otherwise, all the rest of the sufferings remains with them. Mm, that day, Sedutang,你也读不到这话,他没读不到这话,这边我不在家,明年吧,明年行,明年读不到这话,这个那几个书本,明年读明年用,我的弟弟,他的读个,这个公司,这个公司,你不得好说,啊,啊,的,啊,
So then if you look at the sufferings, it says, suffer, I suffer hunger and thirst. thirst. So this is how we suffer, right? The constant seeking, constant seeking means when we are thirsty, we're hunting for water. When we're hungry, we're hunting for food. And constantly we are uh, chasing after all these uh, things. So that's why it's constant seeking. And then the separation from the agreeable friend and relatives, that means uh, so uh, uh, we are, you know, uh, normally we have very strong kind of feeling towards uh, the relatives. So then eventually they get separated from us. They go to death and stuff like that. So we left ourselves alone. And it's the same, to, same with the friends, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, that's the same thing. ニマレレチュジュレレレアネ so the, so the hunger and thirst, it's a uh, uh, sufferings of human beings. So you can, if you imagine, let's say like in one hour, uh, there are many people, human beings, is dying of hunger and thirst. Uh, so lack of gaining uh, proper food and nutrition and stuff like that. So that's this, you can think of like they're dying out of, uh, are dying, uh, you, know, you know, because of all this, uh, and hunger, sort of like hunger, okay? Hunger or thirst. So then the... So the separation from agreeable friends and relatives, uh, it's like again, it's happening constantly, you know, moment by moment, sec every second, right? Uh, some family, uh, family and friends being separating from each other. And it's, it's not happening to me right now, but you know it's happening in the world and in the human society. Mm -hmm. So then, the sometime you know, so it may happens to me. So you can think of like that. So then the next one is called encounter with lots of enemies. What's lots of enemies? Enemies, right? Enemies, lots of enemies. So that is again happening, you know, every moment, every second. Uh, so they're being killing, each, you know, all these big people or uh, uh, the, the human beings are killing each other. And they, uh, uh, you know, they, they're dying under uh, their enemy, uh, an enemy's hand, sort of like enemy's hands, constantly, you know, if you imagine. So they're happening right this moment. Oh, <laughs> ま、<音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> <coughs> so then not finding what I desire so then if you look at uh, a farmer uh, they are they put a lot of effort to grow crops and cultivate uh, the, 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 on their fields I right, feel so then they when it comes to get their uh, harvest 
or fruit sort of like a harvest so then uh, everything gets uh, destroyed and stuff like that and you if you look at the very uh, uh, the what do you call this rich business yeah business people uh, so then they uh, anticipate kind of like big large uh, uh, the profit out of their business so then they at the second moment uh, everything gets uh, uh, business or everything is collapsed right so it happens constantly so there are these are the just two examples and then there are many many things that we try to find we try to gain but <clears throat> we are un, we like unsuccess uh, we get um, we were like unsuccess to get all this whatever we yearn for whatever we desire for oh that Mendubi <laughs> Medivetunga so then uh, having uh, undesired falls upon me uh, so again this is happening uh, constantly so we we don't want to we don't want to feel hungry but it happens uh, we don't want to feel thirst you know it happens due to our karma right and then there are many, many things, uh, for instance, even like a uh, very kind of like a uh, very small thing can actually uh, affect in negatively. So something we, you know, falls on up on us very easily, for instance, uh, the, what do you call this, uh, a breeze, right? Breeze, wind, blow, right? When breeze is coming from the wrong direction from on your face, you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> And then the, we have like a fire disaster, you know, and then the wind disaster and so on. So, so there are many, many happening. So something that we try to get away constantly, but they come after us, you know, the very you know, easily, sort of like. Okay, we'll stop here then. Let me say, okay. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay, one question, maybe two questions. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, at the very start, you were talking about taking refuge um, for the uh, until I become enlightened. And you said this was the enlightenment of mind. But you also said there were two kinds of enlightenment uh, oh. enlightenment of Place. Can you talk about enlightenment of place? Ale, King Tangotambo de la Casa, Tomba Sanje Jim de de Mumba to the Sanje said the Doji de Riva. Did Tomba de on the Jenna? Nature and you, nature and duty. Tomba numbers of a sign give it. Never a nursing of the Doji de Doji de Interpreti. So the place <coughs> means uh, where uh, Buddha Shakyamuni, and uh, in this, in this uh, era, this era of the Buddhist uh, pra- teachings, so this refers to. Uh, where Buddha Buddha Shakyamuni become uh, enlightened first time, that will be in, in India, India, and we call it like a Buddha, you know, body place, sort of like body place. It's the place where he become Buddha for the first time. That pena chebe na ra sanghe du jamba sanghe sig ne chebe. Oti ne di 
ne changu ningbu patu changu ne tele sa ma ke ki patu chamdu chi ni sikare wa su su ke la toba ji toba changu se te namba tham ji ki mi shi ma ma ke ki patu la ni sanjal ke su du ni se wa ba ta ti ra kan du sa ke se ge ne chi are wa ne ti ne ti ne changu se ti re Tere ani sa ke sa ma ke ki partu ani kam du chi ni si ge re so again there are two types again it says two types a place or realization right realization uh when we take this refuge uh, basically we are saying that uh i will practice i will accumulate accumulate all these merits until i become a buddha right buddha it could be two things it could be a place or it could be a realization so if it's a place so it said that so when we become a buddha so we become a buddha in a, in a place right and that uh, that place is considered as your buddha place sort of like buddha place so then another word is saying until i become a buddha on that place then i will carry all these practices and stuff like that right if it's relation with uh, your realization so then you're saying until i uh, become omniscient I, again all this realization in my mind so i will do all these practices okay. it's two ways to go oh <laughs> So, he said that so we have a potential to become a Buddha, right? Let's say in the future, if we become a Buddha, there will be a place where we become a Buddha. We, 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 you, we can all this fully realization, right? And this, that there will be a place. And at the same time, there will be, there will be a realization. So you like, realization within yourself. So these two are, you know, so we are kind of like making a time set, sort of like set, set, setting a time until that moment I will go and do refuge and do these practices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One way to become a Buddhist was to take refuge, but that that was not the only way. What are the other ways? <laughs> I'll get ready to. Oh, okay, I'll get ready to become a Buddhist, right? Yeah. Buddhism. Like that's one okay. Thank you. 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 Nambala so yes uh, there's a different ways to uh, there's a different gateway to become a dharma i mean the buddhist uh, buddhist uh, buddhist practitioner one is one way to get into uh, the Buddhist practitioner is the taking how you take refuge. This is already mentioned about that, right? And there's another way to get into Buddhism is uh, through your behavior, sort of the job of behaviors. So behavior is like uh, uh, saying that uh, not to harm any single sentient beings, even like single sentient beings. If you have that kind of uh, behaviors, if you undertake, adopt that kind of behavior, so uh, technically, uh, for like, how the chebe gone? Chebe again. Anyway, so technically, you are uh, Buddhist. Yes, you chebe say it is. Okay, and sometimes it called like uh, Buddhist sattva way of life. Okay, how the Buddhist sattva they conduct, uh, carry out their act- actions, right? Chebe gone. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> Uh, Chiyopa. Chiyopa means like behavior or actions. Okay, actions, right? 
And another way, way to get into a uh, Buddhist, uh, become a Bu- Buddhist is through your view. Okay, view. There's uh, four, if you believe, if you accept, four seals of the Buddhism, so then you become Buddhist from the perspective of the view, sort of something like that. So the four, uh, four seals are uh, means all the things are impermanent, okay? means all the un- con- uh, all the contaminated uh, natures are suffering and seeing all the contaminated natures are suffering uh, <laughs> okay, okay nirvana and peace uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, all the phenomena are empty and selflessness. These are the four seals. If you accept that, uh, again, technically you are a Buddhist practitioner. Number Okay, so uh, anyway, so the first ones I said, I think I believe I said uh, all the phenomena are impermanent. There's a little correction for that. Not all the phenomena. All the produced things are impermanence. Okay? And the, this is unique to Buddhists because uh, other traditions, they uh, believe uh, some produced objects are permanent. So that's why it's you know, different from the other tradition. Okay? And the second one is we call like uh, all the contaminated, uh, contaminated natures are suffering. Right? But the other tradition, they may consider even though they are contaminated object, they may consider as a, as a happiness. Yeah, this is the one different. And then the uh, the all the things are empty and selflessness. So again, uh, other tradition they don't believe in selflessness and empty nature of the things. Mm. Okay, that's your answer, Tisa. Okay. Okay. Thank you.